It's March guys, it's time for a whole new month of decluttering and hopefully this ties in really well with your spring clean. Hello, my name's Rachel, I do videos about decluttering, minimalism and my nose spend year and every month I share little acts of decluttering that you can do every single day of the month and you can tick them off on a lovely little PDF calendar that I have made for you as well. And you can also follow along on my social media with the little acts of decluttering that I post every single day. For me, I'm quite happy to say that March is spring and spring means spring cleaning. So I'm really excited to get started on a little bit of a declutter around my home and have another like zhoosh up of the space and get it ready for summer because I like it to be a bit fresher and calmer. So this is a great opportunity for you to go around various different items within your home and declutter. There are 31 days in March, so let's get straight into it. For the 1st of March, I would like you to go in the garden and the shed and see if you've got any plant pots that you don't think that you're going to use. This is a great time to donate them on to somebody that might be wanting to do some seed planting and it will just allow you to freshen up your space. For the 2nd of March, have you got any old address books or do you have a collection of address books from previous years? It might be a good idea to get them all together, go through them and make sure that you just have one address book or use your phone as a lot of people do nowadays but obviously lots of people don't like relying on that and like a paper copy so go through, collate all the addresses that you want to keep, put them in the address book that you want to keep and then declutter the rest. Obviously these are confidential pieces of information so you might want to use a shredder to get rid of any names and addresses. For the 3rd of March, do you have any pet toys that are hanging around that are no longer any good for your pets, that are falling apart? I know that dogs are very good at tearing through pet toys, so it's a good opportunity to reflect if you have got a pet and see if there are any that need to be decluttered. For the 4th of March, do you have any coasters that you are not using? I know that I've got quite a collection of coasters and I've had to go through that and reduce down. I know I have one by the bedside table, I have a couple downstairs. I don't have many surfaces that I would use coasters on so it's a good opportunity to reflect on what you have, keep your favourites and then declutter the rest. For the 5th of March, do you have any junk mail that you need to action or get rid of? Try and get in the habit of dealing with junk mail as soon as it comes through the post. As soon as it comes through the letterbox, deal with it straight away, decide if it's an item that you want to keep or if it is junk and you do need to recycle it. This will help you maintain the levels of clutter within your home, but also go through any that you might have been collecting up in a pile as well. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and put a comment below saying which items you have started decluttering. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell for notifications so you know when I upload my next video. For the 6th of March, don't let clothes pile up. Hands up if you are guilty of this. I do let clothes pile up either after they've been dried and they are waiting to come upstairs or when I have finished with them at the end of the day and they go on a chair. So I need to get better at this. My best recommendation is have a really clear system of a place that you can put them if they are not good enough to be hung up with the full fresh stuff but have a waiting area where you can put items that are worn like once or twice that can have another wear or you put them in the laundry basket. That is your deal to yourself you have to deal with your clothes when you get undressed for bed at the end of the night. For the 7th of March, can you make sure that the window sills are clear of clutter? These are easy traps for clutter and knickknacks and bits and pieces. This is a good one to regularly clear and clean to keep the area fresh and visually appealing. For the 8th of March, can you go under the bed and declutter and go through and sort any items that you store under there? There's a variety of things that people store within that space. So I appreciate that this is going to be different for everybody. I store some memory boxes and old things and notebooks, but you might store bedding, you might store memory boxes, there's all sorts that you might store under the bed. But go through it and take some time to decide whether or not it's worth keeping. For the 9th of March, have you got any photos that you could go through and reduce down? This is a good opportunity to get rid of any blurry ones. Previously when I was younger we used to have a film and we used to have to print them all out and quite often there would be various different blurry pictures or duplicate photos that we didn't really need to keep. So now it's an opportunity to reflect back on what you have printed and see if you can declutter any. For the 10th of March, could you find 20 items to declutter from your home? You might want to find a high traffic area here 
It could be that you use this as an opportunity to go for your wardrobe or go through bedding and sheets and towels. 20 items is easily done within the wardrobe or within um, material items. So see if you can reduce down and find 20 items to declutter. On the 11th of March, can you go through your bookshelves and see if you can reduce down any books that you have already read that you don't intend to read or are unlikely to read. Good opportunity to reflect and see where you are and it might inspire you to get reading again. For the 12th of March, do you have any excess tablecloths that you're not really using? I know that I used to have a collection when my son was younger so that I could have the table protected, but go through and keep only essentials. For the 13th of March, I want you to think about the items and ask yourself a question, does it make you happy? If it doesn't make you happy, then it's not worth keeping. If it makes you happy, then it absolutely it's something to keep. So think about this question when you are decluttering around your home. For the 14th of March, do you have any baking trays that you are not using or that are really worn or not very good at using? Have the coating worn away? Decide realistically which baking trays you use for what you cook on a regular basis and declutter any excess. For the 15th of March, can you go through your makeup collection and see if you've got any expired products? Every product has a specific month of opening so that you know how long you can keep it open for, especially with products around your eyes like mascara, you shouldn't really use it for more than about six months um, because otherwise you might start causing difficulties. Your eyes and your face is a very sensitive area so it's really important that you're not using products for too long. For the 16th of March, can you set a 15 minute timer and see how much you can declutter within that time? This is great if you want to focus in on a particular area, but you want to make it more exciting or you want to make it a little bit more structured with your time. Declutter what you can and then you either might be motivated to keep going or you might find that that's enough and you can finish there. Remember to think about the four box method when you're doing that. Have a box for donating, selling, keeping and rubbish so that you can easily deal with the items at the end of your declutter. For the 17th of March, do you have any items in your car boot that shouldn't be there, that needs to be removed, or do you have anything that needs to go to the tip that you've been storing there, or the recycle centre? Take it now, clear out your boot so that you don't have too much excess weight in your car. For the 18th of March, do you have any old CDs or computer software that you've been harbouring from the olden days? Do you need to keep them? Are you like to use them? If not, these are great items to donate, sell or recycle. For the 19th of March, can you get in the habit of having a donation box within your home so that on a regular basis when you come across items, you can pop them in that donation box and when it's full, you could then take it to a charity shop. This is a good way of regularly decluttering your home. For the 20th of March, do you have any old newspapers that are piling up? Do you need to keep them? or could they be recycled? I know some people keep them for animals, um, but do you need to keep lots? Be realistic about what you should keep. For the 21st of March, do you have any framed pictures that you need to go through? Have a look at your collection. Do you have too many framed pictures? Do you need to reduce it down or do you need to change up the photos within them? For the 22nd of March, do you have any Easter decorations that you need to go through? This is a great time as Easter is coming up very soon within the end of March. So it's quite early this year, so go through your collection. Are they important ones that you need to keep or are they items that you could donate? For the 23rd of March, do you have any items within your car doors that you need to declutter? Go through them on a regular basis and make sure that you don't have any excess stuff there. For the 24th of March, can you make sure that the coffee table is clear of clutter? This is an easy trap for excess stuff, so get in the habit of clearing it at the end of each day. For the 25th of March, do you have any programmes from events that you've been to that you don't want to keep anymore? I know people keep them for memory boxes, but do you need to keep the programmes if you've got the tickets maybe? Be realistic about what it is that you do want to keep or are there only some special ones that you want to keep and maybe you could declutter the rest. For the 26th of March, do you have any old calculators hanging around? Do you have too many? I know that when you've got children that often need them for school, but actually do you have too many when you can be able to use your phone or computer? For the 27th of March, do you have any duplicates within your toolbox? Make sure that you're going through this space and reducing down so you don't have too many of the same things. For the 28th of March, do you have any blunt razors around? It's really good that you're keeping your environment safe. So do you cut any old razors as you go through them and dispose of them safely? 
For the 29th of March, can you declutter any excess travel from your daily life? Make sure that you're doing just one shop on a regular basis for food and not doing lots of little trips. Try and get in the habit of doing trips all together rather than doing individual trips. Just see if you can be more conscious about your usage. For the 30th of March, do you have any children's furniture that you do not need? I know when they grow up that they quite often have quite young looking furniture. Make sure that you're going through this on a regular basis and making sure it's age appropriate or usable. These are great items to sell on, on marketplaces, or you could donate them. And for the 31st of March, do you have any downloaded music that you no longer listen to? Go through it and save up some space within your phone or within your laptop. So there are 31 little acts of decluttering that you can do at home every single day to help declutter your home. And don't forget, I will be back for more videos soon. Take care. Bye.